schools across Kelloland are bracing for the impact of artificial intelligence. The school administrators of South Dakota will be holding workshops for school board members, teachers and administrators. The first is in Rapid City on September 7th. Now, as we show you in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, AI holds a lot of promise for better education, but it can also impact a child's education in some negative ways. Please give me five questions to ask. DSU's David DeYoung says when people first see it in action, they are amazed at what artificial intelligence can do. In a matter of seconds, the requested questions came up on the screen. If you know which questions to ask, you can generate, ask them to generate, and then it just lists the questions. DeYoung says teachers can use chat GTP to save time. The trick is they have to tweak and edit and make sure it's usable. In the hands of a student, the technology could be exploited, and teachers need to know how to handle that type of situation. Now students are just asking chat GPT to write papers for them, and they're trying to figure out how to get away with submitting some artificial intelligence work into their classrooms. When that in education was something we relied on a lot is for people to think and write, you know, the game just changed. At Brandon Valley Schools, Superintendent Jared Larson is well aware of the future challenges AI can generate for the district's teachers. There are pros and there are cons and there are certainly unintended consequences. His district will spend the upcoming year learning about AI and how it can be implemented into the classroom. He wants teachers and principals to help explore the strengths, the limitations, and unintended consequences AI can bring to education. I think about AI a little bit like I think about a microscope. Well, you don't use a microscope every single day in, in, in bio. You use it when it's appropriate uh, for the educational activity or the lab. So um, I think it's very important that we evaluate uh, appropriate usage. Larson says when the internet and smartphones came along, they were going to change education forever. Well, schools adapted and the impact wasn't what some expected. He believes AI is an incredible tool for those with the skills and the ability to proofread, edit, or tweak the writing that is produced in draft form by the computer. I do believe this firmly and wholeheartedly that never, ever, ever before has it been more important for educational systems to teach fundamental skills such as reading, writing, and math. DeYoung is helping organize the upcoming workshops for teachers, principals, and school board members. He is dean of the College of Education at DSU. So he understands how artificial intelligence can impact a young person's education and how teachers can use it to their advantage. And we have more information at our fingertips than we've ever had before. We just need to get our teachers and principals and superintendents into the habit of using artificial intelligence to make them better teachers. According to a recent survey that appeared in Forbes magazine, half of all secondary level teachers believe AI will change education for the better. The artificial intelligence and schools workshops will be held in Rapid City, Aberdeen, Harrisburg and Chamberlain in September. Now, this is such a hot topic, education uh, on education. Hundreds of people have already registered for these events. And you can also find the dates and the times with this story on Kelloland.com.